and there'll be no non-tariff barriers to, to trade. It was, of course, completely untrue. As the former head of the World Trade Organization noted last year, this was the first negotiation in history where both parties started off with free trade and then discussed what barriers to erect. The fishing fleet's coming in at Bridport Harbour on the Dorset coast. It's been a month since the post-Brexit deal provided for the stability of ongoing free trade and what the government called a new sea of opportunity from increased catches. But so far, new difficulties of exporting foodstuffs back across the channel in choppy waters. Some wonderful cuttlefish has just come in. At the family fish exporters down the road, Charlie Samway's prime exports have for decades served European plates. Here, they prepared thoroughly for Brexit, but that hasn't been enough. First page is a CMR for the, for the whole truck. We didn't have to do that before. This is all export health certificate, so this is completely new. There are 26 steps the government outlined hours before the new arrangements came into force, including export health certificates that require a visit by this vet to certify safety. Remember, Boris Johnson sold his Brexit deal to the public and parliament on the basis of this. And there'll be no non-tariff barriers to, to trade. Yet the government has entire websites informing businesses of tens of millions of new customs declarations, export health checks, regulatory checks, rules of origin checks and conformity assessments. But even longer lasting foodstuffs such as cheese produced in Cheshire and exported directly into European homes is facing an end to such trade as each transaction now incurs a £180 fee from those export health checks. Challenging is one word. Um, disastrous is another. The other side of our business, which is our online sales to the consumers of the EU, that has completely and utterly stopped. So what the Prime Minister said was patently untrue. The prices are suffering dramatically, so we are at least a third down in terms of the value and therefore the turnover of businesses. It is the worst of all outcomes 